Hello, my name is Mike Cost. I'm the owner of the Swampy Pines Homestead, along with uh, my wife and my two children. I'm going to give you a tour today of our two coops that we have here on the property um, that has 21 hens and one rooster um, in the flock. Um, when we first started the property in about 2020, planned on only having a couple chickens and uh, just to say we were homesteading and then uh, before before the hens even got here we upgraded to have a coop that could withstand, withstand more than uh, six chickens and then before we know it we had another coop and um, we just keep adding on so I'm gonna give you a tour of everything all our features that we have in the coop and uh, hope you enjoy it thanks all right we are gonna head into our main coop this is what we call the hen den there are 16 hens inside this coop um, we'll go ahead inside and check everybody out here. Oh, it looks like everybody's pretty much in on this rainy day. Um, they're all enjoying some treats. They got a new chicknick table for Christmas. So they're eating their, uh, all their corn and all their, uh, scratch grains right now. Um, so our coop consists of two 50 pound feeders. Um, and our water, I know that that's not the greatest thing to leave in the coops at times, but it works best for us. We haven't had any frostbite issues or anything like that in the coop. Um, we keep everything well ventilated. Uh, we have a window and then our door actually opens up um, to where we can uh, keep that free flowing if needed as long as the weather permits. Um, we have our treat bin in here so we can fill that chicken table with scratch grains. Uh, three roll away nesting boxes um, for them to lay in and then we have two levels of um, roosting bars here um, so this coop has nine rhode island reds in it and then um, a handful of easter eggers and um, some black copper morans here we got some reds and then our black copper moran which my kids named that named her uh, black betty um, so just enjoying the coop today nice weather so getting some time in all right now we are going to move outside to the run area um we kind of built this in last year just because it gets so muddy um in the spring and winter back here um so made it a little easier. We go come out here before work and things like that. So try not to get too muddy. Um, we put in a treat dispenser for uh, when the weather permits for the kids. They can come up here and get scratch grains or whatever we put in there for treats. And they kind of like to ring the dinner bell and then go feed the chickens. So um, that's a nice little feature we have. This is just an area where the family likes to spend time. Um, and then we also do have a couple of... Uh, male rabbits that um are part of the homestead that reside over here by the chickens um in their in their house but um this is our run um as you can see probably should have built it a little bigger and eventually we will add on to it um but uh does great for now um with them they are all pretty happy inside here they do have some covered areas um those blue boxes are for dust baths, they take dust baths in there. They sometimes they lay in there when, even though they shouldn't, um, and then uh, they are able to come right out through that area. We do have lights in here to give them a little bit of an extended day during the winter hours. Um, thing I like best about the run is our door, which doubles as the ramp for them to exit the uh, the coop. Um, it's just on a string that we're able to pull on in the morning. Um, you know, don't have a lot of time in the morning, especially in the winter when it's dark, uh, to come out. We got to make sure that we let everybody out and give them, make sure a safe place to be in when they're out. So, um, we could pull that, open them up in the morning and everybody can start their day. Um, there's the rabbits. Like I said, we do plastic off the sides and the, the main side that's facing the weather in the, uh, winter so that they have a little bit of protection from the wind. Um, but they seem to enjoy it. We got our two Morans up there, our Reds. Um, 
every year we add uh, um, like some wood chips and things like that, some sand to try to keep this area um, a little more user friendly for them, but it's pretty muddy right now with the time of year in, in Ohio. All right, and then we're going to go into our second coop. This one we've only had for about a year and a half. Um, found it on Facebook Marketplace and said, wow, for the price, it's let's just get it and use the lumber. And then, of course, I put chickens in it. Um, but, uh, yeah, it works out pretty good. Um, the side opens up just like so. Um, they live inside there at night. That's their coop area. Um, collect eggs from the back here. And then... This is actually where our rooster, so that's Yukon right there, the big rooster. He's a golden wine dot, and then he has silver and gold wine dots in this coop with him. His name is Yukon Cornelius um, because he has some silver and gold ladies. Um, so they are in here, and uh, they've just started laying eggs a couple months ago, so they're they're doing pretty good. Their uh, water stays out. Their food is up top. Um, they have the same water as the other coop. Um, but uh, yeah, everything's plastic off right now to help a little bit and with the weather. Um, the A-frame makes that an easier feature for us. Um, but collect everything from that side entrance or there is a door over here that we can get everything in. You can hear Yukon. And then here on Swampy Pines Homestead, we also do meat chickens. Um, this is kind of tucked back away right now out of the way but uh, this is our little hoop chicken tractor that we built this past summer um, we usually do meet chickens from about July to September and have about 25 of them on the property um, so has wheels moving around with my Kubota tractor and it does a great job but uh, we in the summertime usually have anywhere from 50 to 60 chickens on the property I hope you enjoyed the tour of the Swampy Pines Homestead Chicken Coops. Um, always, we're always looking to expand and find ways to, to add more chickens and f other animals to the property. Um, even though some people may say we have enough chickens, you know that nobody ever has enough chickens. Thank you.